What's up everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use Yanfly's Enhanced TP plugin to change your max TP. Now this is a super cool plugin and the more I look at it the more I'm getting excited about it. Um, I'm going to probably have several tutorials on different modes and other custom things I come up with. Um, but this is going to be a simple short tutorial. This is going to be how to change your uh, maximum TP. So by default, it's going to be set to the first mode of Stoic. So when you take damage or defend, you're going to get TP. Um, you can <coughs> excuse me. You can change the amount of uh, modes that unlock by default by changing them right here. Just adding a space and adding the number. There's already a bunch of them plugged in, uh, already made. So we've got Breaker on five. That's not set by default. And you've got Booster on six. And you can use plugin commands to add these, or you can set them all to be in the game by default. Um, if you scroll down to, let's see, uh, Dancer 16, 15 is, is that one, there's that one. Okay, here we go. We're on Undefined now. So on mode number 17, we are Undefined. Uh, mode 16. So there are currently 16 built-in modes, and there's room to build four more custom modes with full, uh, full customization over all the previous, uh, basically, preset modes. You can change them all to your liking. So if you want to make your own mode, scroll down to Mode 17, change the name to what you want it to be, and change all the settings up to what you want to, uh, how you want it to gain your uh, TP. Um, I'm going to be making a few custom ones myself, but for now I'm just going to use a lot of the pre-built and show you how to change your TP. So we'll start with the default mode of 1. So we're in Mode 1 settings. If we go down to Max TP, double click that parameter, it'll be 100 by default. I've set mine to 90 plus the user's level times 10. So at level 1 you'll have 100, but at level 2 you'll have 110, level 3 you'll have 120, and so forth and so on. So to do this you're going to use a, a, a parentheses and then you're going to type user dot level and then a space and then an asterisk for times and then you're going to put 10. Of course you can change this number to, to be whatever you want. You can have it uh, an additional 5 per level. You can keep this 100, you can go 95 here. You can do whatever you want. You can have it uh, where your TP is the same as your stats. So you can go user.atk. Uh, and then you're going to get extra TP depending on how much attack power you get. So the more attack power you stack up uh, from other equipment or whatever, the more TP you're going to have. So it's really customizable. For now, I'm going to go uh, 90 B, uh 90 base with a user dot level times 10. That way, at level uh, one you have <coughs> you have 100, but at level two you have 110 and so forth and so on. So um, expect to see more for YEP underscore enhanced TP. I am super stoked about this plugin, and you should be too. I'm gonna put a link in the description below to where you can get it. All you need is the core engine and uh, the enhanced TP plugin. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video informative or helpful or you enjoyed it, uh, remember, to, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. I did start a Patreon page. The link will be at the bottom. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next tutorial.